In this video, we're going to show you the best blitz beating concept in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? Uh, guys, if you want to get these tips every single day, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We do videos like this every single day, helping people become better Madden players. And today, I'm going to show you my favorite concept for doing a five-out route combination that is really good against the blitz pretty much every single year. And it's good against... Uh, the blitz this year now we're seeing right now in the competitive community a lot of man coverage a lot of send five or send six heavy blitzing metas at least at this point in the year so i wanted to do a video kind of breaking down just a great little fundamental way to be able to beat the man blitz and the zone blitz and not have to actually try to worry about blocking the blitz we're just going to essentially dot the blitz so um, what we're going to do is you could do this out of any play in the trip side information you could do this concept out of any play out of any formation um but basically what we're going to teach in this video is, like I said, just my favorite way to attack the Blitz. And we're going to show it out of the play drive post and the trip side information. Um, just because I'm going to show you kind of a unique route that exists within this within this uh, play. So what we're going to do with this, and again, if you want to want, if you guys want to get access to all my ebooks, my full trips tied in ebook, in the link is in the description for the Patreon. Ten dollars gets you access to all of our ebooks. Got over seven ebooks so far. Working on a brand new offense as we speak. So make sure you're in the Patreon. That way you get all the updates, and it's only ten bucks gets you access to everything. So how are we going to set this play up? Well, basically, what I want to show you is a really, 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 really good concept against. Uh, uh, zone. So I'm going to start with this DB fire too. So let's say they're in a zone blitz. What you want to do here is we want to basically spread the zones out so that we can quick pass in between them. And the way we're going to do that is through putting this guy on a five yard out route once we motion him over. So basically what's going to happen is if they don't have the running back manned up, he's going to get wide open and the way that these wheel routes work this year you just want to snap and once you see that he has a just a little bit of an opening you want to throw immediately uh with a pass lead pass lead outside so there i threw it just a little bit too early but we'll show you that again okay so again db fire two and then we'll get into the man stuff in just a second but we want to start here just to show you this route and you'll see it really doesn't matter what my outside guy is on. I could smart route that out route as well. But as long as he's outside and as long as he's not cutting to the inside, this is a really effective tactic. So you're just going to see, oh, they're blitzing me. Just pass lead that up. And we're going to get 5, 10 yards pretty consistently against any blitz. Okay? So that's zone. And literally, that's that's kind of it against zone. Now, what they're gonna, what's this going to force them to do is it's going to force them to take that guy on the right side. And they're going to have to man him up on the running back now i want to show you that adjustment just to kind of walk you through like how this plays out practically so let's say that they man up this running back you'll see right here that now my tight end is open quick to the middle of the field so you might be thinking well okay yeah the tight end is open but what if they use the tight end across so i'll show you that so you know again here we're going to put this guy here and now we're kind of in this point where we're kind of adjusting and just to illustrate this i'm going to put this guy on the tight end well, what's going to happen is on the back side now, we have a natural pick and rub with this flat and this drag route that is going to be able to create that for us. And so if that left side corner is going to come off of the edge, I'm going to look to the right. Nope. Look to the left. Oh, I've got that drag right there. And so you see how this is just simply quick dotting the blitz. Now, what's a way that they might try to adjust to the quick dot to the left side? Well, really one of the best ways that they can actually adjust to this is to man up that guy on, like to man up this, this safety onto the triangle receiver, right? So that's really the best way that they can do this. And this is again, walking them into a man coverage, which we'll get to man coverage in just a second. So they have to man all these different players up to defend this, right? So ideally they're gonna probably just come to where they're gonna be in a man coverage. What you'll see with this again is you have that quick throw. So they have to respect your tight end quick. Now, what you can do if you are getting a lot of man to man with your pressure is you can basically say, all right, I'm kind of anticipating that it's going to be a man call. I'm kind of anticipating that they're going to be in man. And you can actually put this drag route on a slant. And you're going to kind of get the same basic concept with this. 
And so you'll see here, look right, nope, look back left. Oh, that beats man. I'm going to aggressive catch that because aggressive catch is the most consistent way to actually catch the ball this year, in my opinion. And we're going to move the ball down the field, as you see right there. So we're able to kind of quick dot the blitz. And that's going to force them to have to make adjustments to that. So now what they're going to do is they're going to say, all right, well, just forget zone altogether. We're going to go to man. And the beauty of this, and the best way I think to show this is basically this. They're going to man the running back up with the right side guy. Now, now please understand that if you're in dollar, most people like to use or this linebacker, okay? So that's something to kind of think about. But anyways, when we motion this guy across the formation, this out route or this uh, post becomes a corner route. And what you'll see on this outside, I'm going to show the play art, is they kind of have a little bit of a messed up play art, if you will. Now, if I baseline this, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot better. As you see, we kind of fixed some of the main problems with this logic. However, we still have that same basic thing on the left side with that slant flat, and they have to jump to the running back. Now, the other thing is this little, um, this little corner to circle. When he cuts to the outside, he will actually get separation against man, as will a smart routed out. Now, again, obviously, they were able to kind of – adjust to you know the routes that i put on the field the pressure came in and you know we want to be able to quick dot this and that's not quite exactly you know you, that's quick but it's not quick enough of course so you see here this is kind of what the play looks like we're going to man this guy up here and then we're going to user this guy on a spy now again on the back side we're going to play a little two-man game basically with our slant and our flat route so if they go to the flat with him, then that means that is an access throw. We can throw that on access. When we have access to middle field there, if that safety drifts to the left, then we can throw that. So what that's gonna require from the opponent is that is going to mean that they're gonna have to start adjusting to that as well. So you're kind of putting them in a catch 22 where they're starting to have to kind of adjust, over adjust, over extend themselves to stop your basic little blitz beater here. And again, we can do something very similar to this out of almost every single um, formation in this game. This is basically just the mesh concept, right? Um, but the beauty of this is now we can have out of this, if you take a look here, let's say that the safety on the left side. So I look right now. Oh, I'm screaming. Oh, there's nobody over here now to defend the flat route. And so you see how we can kind of like layer these routes and put them in a position where they have to kind of start dropping at least one of their blitzers into coverage. So I want to illustrate what that's going to look like. So on def on defense, I'm going to drop this left side guy. I think this is the best best adjustment for this concept. We're just going to drop him into a vertical hook. So he's going to go play. Um, you know, whenever we set this play up, he is going to do a pretty good job of being able to go over here to the right side and kind of stop the drags and the slants. However, on this side, now we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Chris Godwin. And the other thing I did want to say here, um, you'll see these out routes. And I'm telling you, these out routes are actually super glitchy this year. Not very many people have kind of caught on yet to the, how good the out routes can be. But the out, out routes really can be good. So now we've got them in a position where they're only, be, they're only able to send four um, and actually have all of the zones on the field that they're going to need to adapt to what we're going to do. So we just need to pick up this, this guy off the right side. So a great way to do that is to just call a play action play, and we're going to slide our line and then maybe ID the corner. That's a great little way to do it. We can still do everything else that we were doing because we're basically just hot routing this entire play. Okay, but we do know that play action is better pass protection. It's one of the many reasons why trip side in is so good. So now you see here, if I step up, step up, step up, right on the cut, I can throw that out route against that man coverage. And so you see how with one little concept, we can kind of really at least force the blitz to have to do something. Um, obviously, there's other ways that we could kind of go about this. We could obviously, if they're going to consistently man the running back up, one of my favorite things to do, if there's if they're consistently going to go with that defense that I just showed you, that is probably the best chance for stopping this, you know, maybe something like this. If they're going to consistently go with something like this, you know, then I'll just block the running back. And, you know, same kind of thing. I'll ID the corner or whatever. And then I might get myself, I know I'm going to have a little bit more time, so now I can throw that, that corner route to the right side um, as opposed to making it into an out route. But the bottom line is, the other thing that I wanted to say just real quick about the man coverage is if we set this up again, another thing that you should notice with this is if they are usering on the right side of the screen, 
they have to go to the tight end. So, like, let's say let's say they man this guy up on the running back. This is something that a lot of people will do, and they'll use her this guy. Now, if you think about it, they're not going to have the ability to guard the running back at the tight end. Like, if they go to the running back, then we're going to throw the tight end. And if they stay on the tight end, now our running back has a lot of leverage over here, and we can just pass lead that, you know, pass lead that outside once he goes. Now, he's getting a little held up at the line uh, for whatever reason, but... You know, you kind of get the idea here. If I'm sitting right here, you know, and they're in a and they're in a position where they've kind of overextended themselves to this, you know, you should be able just to take this running back a lot. Uh, just a simple pass lead outside. You can low ball that this year as well. Um, you just don't want to pass lead when you low ball that. You know, so you have some stuff that you can kind of get around this blitz. But this is obviously it's not something you call every play. But it is something that is really effective and is going to force them, if they're going to be blitzing you, if they're going to have certain adjustments that they're consistently wanting to do, this is a great way to kind of force feed. You know, you can have your quick access throw to the left. You know, you can kind of put them in a position where, you know, they have to really adjust to stop this play. And that's going to open up other stuff in this offense, as it will with any offense. As long as you have a good blitz finger, you see there, there's that natural pick that I was talking about with the tight end. And so they have to kind of be very disciplined in their coverage approach to defending something like this. Again, this isn't something you run every play. This is something you mix in. If someone's running a lot of blitzes, this is a tough play to stop. And again, you can do this out of any any formation in the game. The best thing, the biggest thing that you need here, it's like if I go to white trips, the biggest thing that I need is I need this, this space, if you will, and bunches might even be better to do this out of, honestly, but I do something like this, right, out of bunch. This is a great play because it's hard for the zones to react to that route. And really the main thing that's going to stop this, if you actually think this all the way through, the main thing that's going to stop a concept like what we're showing you here is they're going to have to man up they're going to have to man up the running back and probably, honestly, like even if this guy was manned up on the running back, right? Now, again, generally speaking, you're not going to get that because they need this guy over here. So let's say that, you know, let's say that the safety, let's say that the safety was manned up on the running back. Yeah, he might stop it for like a zero yard gain, but this is almost never a pick. Pass lead left, click on, you see how you get that animation and you can get an easy five yards. So you can kind of build around this concept. There's a lot more to this than I went into in this video, but if you want to learn some of the specifics and how to do this out of the best offenses in the game, as well as a complete scheme, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, but this is a great little way, a real simple way that you can attack those heavy blitzing defenses, uh, all with hot routes that are all, you know, you don't need a hot route master for any of these routes. And um, they're all going to be very effective and at least force them to have to adjust a certain way, which then should open up more things for your offense um, down the road. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn my offensive ebooks, my defensive ebooks, I've got trips in there, a bunch in there, uh, big nickel, match coverage, dime 146, uh, dime 236, and we've got a current gen stuff as well. So if you want to get access to all of that, make sure you are in our Patreon. 10 bucks to sign up, and the link is down in the description. So head on down there, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon.